Okay, hey guys. Um, so I'm just dropping Ariana off at school, and I'm on my way back home now. I have to go to work at it's like it's like 8:40. It's probably like 8:50. I gotta be to work at 10 o'clock, so I got about an hour and some change to get ready. I just gotta take a shower, throw my clothes on, come straight back across this bridge, and go to work or whatever to the shop. She, we was running late this morning. Like I stayed up to like two o'clock doing this wash and go with like a, the gel I had. I had some eco style up, and it came in like a container like this big. So you know, with all this natural hair, I had to make that container. I had to make it work because I ain't had nothing. I try. I tried to put my hair in a ponytail. Listen, you have. If you have natural hair, you have to. You have to straighten your hair prior to any style I feel like like in order for the style to come out right you have to straighten your hair like so that was a fail um yeah so I stayed up all night doing her hair also and then I had to do my hair so I was tired and woke up late I, I, she's supposed to be the school at 8 I got up at 7 to 5 and the drive is 15 minute drive and I still had to get her ready so yeah you know how to go but yeah she got to school safe and sound she was in good spirits this morning. You know, it was a little rocky at first, but she, you know, she was, she was in good. She was, she was good. She wasn't crying or nothing. I think that's so. You know, I don't like that when your kids cry before they go to school. I think that just sets the tone. Your morning period sets the tone for your whole day. So I don't like her to cry before she go to school, like or be yelling at her or nothing, because you know nobody wants to go to school. That don't even matter. Like you got something coming, you getting something when you get out of school. Like you got a gift when you, you get out of school or something. So I always try to, you know, give her some good news before she go to school, so she can have something to, you know, think about. Cause I know school can suck sometimes. But yeah. So now I'm on my way back to the house, and I just um. I don't have nothing else planned today but to work because I am broke. And I ain't gonna say I'm broke, but my my money looking funny right now. Cause my money looking funny. So I need to work, I need to get back. I need to be in the shop, do as many heads as I can. Um, so y'all have no plans today but to just work and um yeah, Ariana come home. And uh, let me tell you guys, I meal prep last night. Like, it was a minor meal prep. It wasn't like a whole week's worth of food. But I cooked um, yellow rice with like some cut up pieces of chicken um, and corn, corn on the cob. So yeah, I put the rice, I made the rice, I fried the little pieces of chicken. They like chicken crumbles, and I put them on top of the rice, and then I put like a um, corn on the cob, and like those carry out containers. I only made two of those though, like I did two containers like that, and I put them in the fridge. And I'm just see how it go, like if, if they still taste good after, cause I'm gonna let her eat one tonight, and I'm gonna let, let her eat one. I was gonna let her eat one tomorrow night, and they just strictly for Ariana. Like I don't even care if I don't eat. I mean, cause I don't be eating like certain stuff anyway so it was just for her i'm gonna taste it before i give it to her to make sure they still taste because that's that's what i'm skeptical about like i'm like i don't know how they're gonna taste you know after two or two days you know but i had eight leftovers you know thanksgiving we eat leftovers a week after the food you know what i'm saying so i think it'll be good depending upon what kind of food you, you know you meal prep but i feel like it should be good because so yeah, meal prep last night, so I'm gonna see how that goes. If that works out good. What? What? Yes. But um Oh no, I need to get these toes is no. These toes is no joke at all. Yeah, if y'all ever moved to New York. Make sure y'all invest. Just don't move to New York. Because New York is mad expensive. For no reason. Why I gotta come why I gotta pay to come across the bridge? I, I, huh, I used to live in New York.
York, but I forgot all about, I didn't have to pass the bridge every day, so I forgot all about something. And I paid cash, I need to invest in an easy pass, but I'm too lazy, so I pay this cash every day. It's like a whole, it's gas. Depending upon which part of New York you live in, especially if you're in the city, or you hit, you is hit, but um, yeah, I don't have nothing really planned for today, but to work. I can't, I don't really, I'm not going to take y'all in there with me when I go to um, work. If I if I have to get out and go somewhere in the car, then yeah, y'all can go. But. Or how is she 
manipulating the hair the way I, like what you know what I'm saying so I just want to like watch it you know so I pray good though like you know people who come and sit in my seat you know they leave and they like oh they pretty like they like their hair and stuff but I, I, I was like to me they not good enough because I know how good Africans spray it I'm just like you know that it's so it's just like a you know what I'm saying I'm not mad at all. It's just like a, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to hurry up and get better type of situation. So, I don't know. Maybe that's what she confirmed. I don't know. You know, I want to speak nothing up. But, you know, that's the only issue that I don't like myself. Like, you know, it's probably, I don't know. But, but yeah, I just be practicing. I be YouTube and stuff. Like, how, you know, and it's crazy. Like, when you really look at it, everybody does what they do, do different. And that's what makes them them you know what i'm saying like you would think everybody braids the same and i see so many people who braid different like they got so many different techniques you would think a braid is a braid but you can achieve you know what i'm saying you can use her technique her technique her technique to get the perfect braid you know what i'm saying like imagine you know what i'm saying Mi mixing all those techniques together you will have like you know what i'm saying like i love that everybody braids different that's amazing you know, I don't want to be just like nobody else. I want to take, I want to learn their techniques also and mix it with my technique to make my technique even uniquer. You know what I mean? But that's not even a word, but, you know, I think y'all yeah, get what I'm saying. But, yeah, that's it, though. You know, I, I pray this morning. I hope today is a good day. I do. I hope today is a good day. I always say, like, I hope not just doing people hair, but I hope I can touch somebody. Not Look at the devil. As soon as I got talking good, my phone went off. Hold on. 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 Hold on Every day, you know, I, I I try to ask that every day. Like, everybody I come in contact with, I just want to be a blessed woman. I want to make somebody smile today. I want to, you know, make someone's day every day. One person, at least one person a day, make their day. And my day is good. No matter what, what happened during my day, I might have had a rough day. But if I made someone's day that day, my job is complete. Even if it's not just, like, immediate, like, person around me you know it could be anybody it could be like somebody i post something on social media or something make their day and i don't even know but if i did it then you know I'm, my job's complete i don't like the way the camera looking right now though. but um it's looking crazy oh there it is we up so I'm almost at home now, and so Ariana's in school. I'm almost home. As soon as I go in the house, I am immediately start getting ready. <laughs> so I won't really have time to vlog and stuff. Um, I really want to, I need to grab something to eat before I go. Because, boy, y'all know that feeling when you don't eat in the morning? Yo, <laughs> That's like that's that's a to me that's something else that's like amazing. When you don't eat in the morning and your body it's just like it's shut down. It will not cooperate with whatever plans you have scheduled. It's just like I need energy. Like you really need something, some type of energy you need to eat so that you have energy to carry out your day. Like I need to eat because I need that energy for today. And when you huh, you can try to do something without eating if you want to. I'm talking about, boy, you get light. It's like you, it's like, and everybody know that feeling. It's like a joking thing when you talk about it with other people. Like, girl, I almost passed out. And people get to bust and all that because they already know that that not eating in the morning is real. Like, you need some nigga give me a cracker or something. <laughs> Shoot. But yeah, someone just go in the house. Get ready, come out. I don't know who, how I'm getting to work. I don't know if I'm driving or if my man's driving me. That's probably a dub and a half. He probably not trying to drive. So I'll probably take the car. 
car, but I don't. That should be bad in my life. So yeah, if 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 I drive like by myself, I might I might cut the video back on just not not add to this vlog, but just make a whole new vlog. Like I'm gonna be looking the same. I'm just having on different clothes, but it's just like a whole new vlog. These car vlogs be mad long though. Like mine be like my. I think the longest one was like 18, 18 minutes long. This one is 15 right now. They be mad long. Like, I hope they be good. I hope y'all like them. They just, like, I really just be talking, like, random about random stuff. Like, you know, I don't have no big news, though, right now to give y'all nothing. Nothing, like, because I'm in a car, like, you know, but... So, I'll just see you guys, like, on my next vlog. And I hope y'all enjoy this vlog. I hope, you know, I said a lot. But I hope y'all got some out of it. You know, whatever I said. I hope y'all got some out of it. And I hope that you all, whoever see this vlog, has a great day today. Like, no funny. Like, I hope y'all have a great day today. I hope that y'all make someone's day. I hope that y'all get home safe to y'all kids. And get home safe to y'all family. You know, pray today or whatever you do to help your day go better. You know, pray for somebody today, even if you don't, you know. But see you guys on my next vlog.